Hey, it's Matt Pinville. It's KLOS New and Approved, and we've got a guest here that we love, and he's actually in the studio for the first time. He's been on Zoom twice, and we're really happy to have him here in the studio. It's Wolfgang Van Halen of Mammoth WVH. Wolf, what's up? What's up? <laughs> it's good to see. You. I saw you earlier this week. Yeah, we were doing the Power Hour. I just saw you, so it's uh, it's great to see you again. Yeah, it's always great to do uh, that with you and Josh and Katie, and mm-hmm. we have such a great time. You know, we've got to talk about. I mean, you're it's such an incredible year that you've had so far. The Metallica shows and uh, just getting married. Talk to me about that because I mean, everybody is, is very excited about the fact that you married your longtime girlfriend. Yeah, and... yeah. It's, uh, it's. Uh, I mean, I don't feel any different. Really, it was just a formality because uh, I mean, when you find the right person, you feel like you're meant to be there already. Marriage is just a, a word. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to make it uh, official. And uh, and uh, she's the best. So yeah, she, be she she's great. And the photos from the. Uh, from everything that have, that have been out there, look fantastic. And yeah, I think that people thing just dropped, so it's cool to see all the all the pictures. Uh, the picture of me and uh, my bandmates were there. We were we were making fun of the picture. <laughs> what was it yesterday? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> it was just amazing. I mean, I think it's great. And you know, like I said, you know, like 90, 90 guests or something. You kept it. Yeah, close. it was it was a nice like personal sort of close family and friends uh, sort of thing. It wasn't too extravagant. It was nice. And I also love that when we talked before, you talked about how, uh, you know, you moved it from inside the house with the ceremony to the backyard. Mm. And you kept it simple by having a DJ, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now talk, because you're, you are such a fan of so many different styles of music. and uh, It was an eclectic playlist, for sure. It was. So how, how, <laughs> how long did you labor over that? Uh, I, I know uh, my wife and I, uh, we just kind of sat there and made a playlist uh, that took maybe like an hour or so. But yeah, I don't think there uh, was a wedding you could go to where you could hear Dean Martin uh, followed by Mushuga, uh and then followed by Scatman John all in one night. I don't think uh, you could you could find that. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I think it's so great. <laughs> I met Scatman John. He really? came to MTV years ago, <laughs> right when he had the one, one hit single. It was a nice man. That's the awesome. The story was he had a stutter. He stuttered, and like because he stuttered all his life, he started scatting as a way to deal with that, and ended up with the number one hitter yeah, in the he, world. He, it turned out to be a superpower. I love it. Absolutely, which is a really good thing. Speaking of superpowers, Mammoth Two, such a great album. We've talked about it, but <laughs> can we talk about how long it took? I mean, because since you play all the instruments, and uh, like you know, two of your heroes have done in the past many times, Dave Grohl, Trent Reznor. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about. It that process and how long it took i mean i know a lot of things happened in your life between the stuff you did for the first and second yeah album. i think i think the first album really was that sort of uh proof of concept for for seeing if i could play everything and then once we did that you know i we recorded it over three years trying to figure out who i was as my own songwriter and uh if i could even do it and and sing and 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 now after having toured uh for for two years um uh, you know, now I am a singer because I've been doing it. So going into the studio and being able to do everything, uh, you know, a- another round of it, it was a lot easier to, uh, since we had one round of it already, uh, to, to kind of condense it and get it done quicker. Uh, maybe we did it a little too quickly. We only had about uh, two months that uh, that it took to do it. I'm very proud of, of everything, but I think maybe we want to spread it out next time and not not pull pull, pull my hair out over it. <laughs> but you did great. I mean, and you know, you've had four number ones on the KLOS countdown here on the show, <laughs> which which is great. But uh, you know, let's let's talk about that. I mean, the singles on the record have, have all done incredibly well, right? I mean, and I think the thing that really keeps it interesting is. Just how diverse the, the songs are. Can you talk about the new single "I'm All Right"? Tell me yeah, about yeah. That song. Uh, you know, uh, lyrically, um, when I write stuff, it, it usually always comes from like an autobiographical uh, place. But uh, I like to place it in a way that I think anybody can kind of take their own experiences and kind of uh, uh, inject themselves into it. And while the same can be done for this, I think this is one of the first like true full unabashed statements uh from me uh in a song uh to kind of uh push back at people who i think have uh kind of decided what my life uh should be and who i should be rather than letting me find that out myself <laughs> yeah exactly and you know for 
You know what I say about those people? Because uh, actually I actually have said it on your social media before, too. I have come straight after your fence, and I've said some pretty nasty things to, to some of those people because, you know, I'm a huge fan of yours, Wolf. Very and, kind, uh, man. Hey, listen, you know, I saw, I got, to, I was honored to be able to introduce you at the homecoming show you did a couple years back. That was two years. I think the anniversary, we just passed like a week ago. We maybe. did. Like, exactly. And it was a whiskey a go go. And uh, it was such a great show. You just gotten done with those Guns N' Roses shows. And you played every instrument that <laughs> night. And it was really a wonder to see. People, I mean, we were all commenting on how, how much we enjoyed seeing you being able to go from instrument to instrument. <laughs> Uh, was that is that part ever nerve wracking when you when you did that at a show? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's a tough thing, uh, especially uh, kind of jumping uh, f- from stuff. I mean, it, it it's in the studio, it's a lot easier because you can kind of focus one by one. So I, I definitely prefer it in the studio. <laughs> but I think it worked it worked out absolutely great. Now you've you you done shows with yeah I know you're a big Alter Bridge fan doing yeah. shows with those guys. Yeah. And, of course, those Guns N' Roses shows. But uh, talk to me about how much you enjoyed doing the Metallica M72 shows because it's a totally different it's kind of It's been crazy. We, we still have two more uh, shows with them this year, and then we have a whole other year next year uh, with them. Uh, it's been such a pleasure and honor to be a part of uh, such an insane tour. Um, the crew uh, is so kind, so wonderful, and the band especially. They've been so supportive and kind. They come by the dressing room all the time just to kind of see what's up, how is everything going. Uh, they're very, very wonderful people. Um, and just to be a part of the most insane, extravagant, hilarious uh, stage in the coolest way um, to be. <laughs> it's just very odd to be like in the middle of a stadium in the round. Uh, it's it's crazy, but I think after about nine or ten shows, we're we're used to it now. So, <laughs> so you're going to continue to do it, which is great. Yeah, you know? yeah, we got like tw- it's like twelve more shows next year, right? Yeah, and you know Lars is uh, you know uh, interviewed Lars at SoFi Stadium, and uh, he had nothing but great things to say about you. The band, so wonderful, you. man. I can't I can't say can't speak of them all uh, highly enough. They're wonderful. They are great. Let's talk about the tour that's starting beginning of uh, this next month with Nita Strauss. Yeah. And, uh, and tell me about your relationship. I mean, she's an L.A. girl, too. You know, she played, she's the L.A. Rams official guitarist. So cool. So um, cool. And, you know, she's just a uh, unbelievable power to herself. Talk to me about why that was the right tour to do. I think it's great. Well, you know, we had uh, we sh- we had the shared cover uh, with Guitar World at the end of last year, uh, so I feel like that kind of just got the ball rolling, and then she put her record out, I put mine out. Um, it's so great, and uh, I just thought it, it, it was the perfect, it was a perfect match, you know. Um, this is our first sort of uh, headline run that we've ever done. It's very exciting, and I couldn't think of a better person to uh, to share the stage with. That's going to be great. I'm really happy that you guys are doing the Can't wait, whole man. headlining thing as well. It starts well. in like a week. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be amazing. You going to take a little time off for the holidays though? Uh yes, once we get back, we get a nice little break for the holidays and then next year looks like it's going to be busy. We just announced uh we're going to open for the Foo Fighters, which is crazy, and uh we're going to tour with Slash in Europe. Uh, uh, I, I stole his guitar player, Frank Sidoris, so he's going to be doing double duty. I said we should call it the Frank Sidoris, but uh, it doesn't really roll off the tongue very well. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or you can of say something else, but it would be yeah. way too much of a derogatory, rude comment, and, <laughs> and Frank would actually think it was funny, but I wouldn't do it right now. But uh, I think that's going to that's going to be an incredible tour. You, you know, you've got a lot lot of touring to go on Mammoth too, mm-hmm. but as a songwriter. Do you stop in between when you do have time and start working on song ideas? I, I Every know. now and then, I think uh, you know if I if I come up with something, I just I throw my phone out and I do the voice recorder. There's like thousands of just random, probably crap ideas, uh, mm-hmm. but you know every now and then you hit that one where it's like I want to return to that. Um, I feel like lately, at least since we just did the new album, I haven't really had the time to find myself in that creative moment because we've just been going nonstop, but I think uh, maybe around the holidays when I have a little time to sit and breathe and think uh, and not worry about a wedding like I had this past uh, past month and a half, um, uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll start getting some ideas going for Mammoth 3. I think, that, I think that's great. Are you, are you the kind of guy who 
It like doesn't like to sit still. Do you like to chill sometimes, or I I do. I I and I think when I chill, I chill hard. Like that's what we did for what I call our our homey moon. Uh, we weren't able to go on a honeymoon yet, so we just t- stole two of my mom's cats that are our favorites, and we just held up in a room in our house and played video games, and uh, that was kind of it for the whole week. So when I chill, I chill hard because yeah. I got to recharge, and then we're always so busy uh, uh, touring. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's 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 nice to find those moments, but we've been. Going pretty much for the last two and a half years, uh, nonstop, it's felt like. And I'm happy to do it, but uh, yeah, we've been going. Yeah, and you've been doing a lot of great things. What do you, when you do chill out, I mean, obviously, I know music is always with you, so and you love a lot of different things, so I'm sure you listen to a lot of stuff when you're on the road. Yeah. But what do you do as far as movies and TV shows when you do get to just relax with your wife? Uh, I actually finally, uh, she hadn't seen all of it. Uh, uh, we, we went through all of, uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. That's one of my, my great favorite, show. one of my favorite shows. And, uh, uh, so it was fun to be able to share all of that with her so she could see where all of my jokes I make all the time are, are, are from. Um, uh, that's definitely one of our favorites, I think. Um, also, uh, uh, there's this this crazy, awesome, hilarious guy named Nathan Fielder, and he had this show on HBO called The Rehearsal. Yeah. Uh, it is absolutely, absolutely insane. If you know nothing about it, you just just watch it, and you'll be. Uh, it's hilarious and insane. <laughs> we definitely have to check that out. That yeah. sounds great. You know. Well, we, um, I, do you know what the next single is going to be on the record? It's gonna uh, I have no idea yet. I don't know if we've uh, decided that. I think we're we're kind of uh, we're just uh, we're we're with I'm all right right now. Yeah, which is such a great song, and it's it's uh, riding strong on our charts and everything yeah with doing. the uh the wah solo operation by uncle pat right here yeah talk to me about that <laughs> uh i saved writing the solo for that song in the studio um yeah. and i knew i wanted a, a wah pedal for it but uh, as i was writing it i was kind of getting bored of just using my foot to do it so i was like here pat you do it and so uh officially i credited him on the back of the album because i thought it was funny to say uh yeah. you'll find it if you get the album it says what does it say I'm a, I'm all right solo wah pedal operation by Patrick Bertinelli. So that is so great. I but love it, that. it held back the design for the album cover uh, a day because we had to sign a work for hire and pay him a dollar. <laughs> is that, that's fant- is, that's fantastic yeah. that there's actually you know. I seen that dollar. Yeah, pa- so, so yeah, Patrick's actually with us in the studio and he's not gotten the dollar. I'm gonna pay him. Uh, you, I'll give you a dollar. We'll frame it. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I got a five. I think he's worth a five for that. <laughs> Operation Patrick, so we're gonna give you a five. It's done. It's a it's a done decision. Well, we were really excited about it. So you've got literally, I think, a good part of the beginning of next year planned out for you. And, yeah, yeah. Which is great. You yeah, know? it's it's gonna be a busy year. I think. Uh, uh, you know, this past year has been pretty busy, and I think this year's this next year is gonna be just as, if not more. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's amazing. It, it, so we, you did a homie moon. Mm-hmm. If you have the opportunity for the two of you to go on a vacation, where's the, where's the place that you'd like to go? We both were talking about wanting to go to Japan. Yeah, uh, we hadn't been there. Uh, one of my friends had gone there for for his honeymoon, and uh, uh, he said it was amazing. Uh, I'd only been there once for tour, and I loved it. Um, it, sometimes when uh, my wife and I are bored, we look at those random like 4K videos of people just walking through like Shibuya at night, yeah. and it's just like, man, this place looks so cool. There's cafes with cats and yeah. stuff. It's like, yeah, I want your um, your cat I, lover. I, in oh, a big yeah, way. I want what they're on. That's I awesome. have two cats, so we have uh, me and my girlfriend. My mom's got six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's great. She's a crazy cat lady. So you know, uh, and, my, and by the way, my my girlfriend loved that when she uh, saw that about, <laughs> about the cats and read about it. She was like, man, that's awesome. It's so awesome that they love cats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we have yeah. two that are like, they're love, our family. Love me some cats. You know, which is great. Wolf, I want to just say it's it's so great to have you here. We're so excited. I appreciate you taking the time to come and do the show. Man, always great talking with you. You know, and good hanging with you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, it, it, again, the hits on both the records have done so well for us. You know, Epiphany is still one of my favorite songs <laughs> of that year. I love that song Thank so much. Thank you so much, man. And, uh, you know, so many people talk about it that I that I who, who love and respect music, and we're always saying how uh, you you write great songs, you really do. And uh, so, thank you, thank for, you for helping keep rock alive and and strong, <laughs> which trying. is great because rock's alive. Yeah, no oh, it's very much alive. Says. Rock is not dead. Yeah, I won't listen no. to any of that crap. No. People have been saying that like since 1967. Yeah, that's a very you know? okay boomer moment for people yeah. to say. 
Yeah. Uh, but it's great. So, Wolfie, thanks for coming by. It was thanks great to have Thanks for having me, man. You. Always a pleasure. It was amazing. Wolfgang Van Halen of Mammoth, WVH. Out on tour with Nita Strauss very soon. Thanks so much for watching and listening. This is Matt Pinfield, KLOS, new and approved. We'll see you next time.